Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Bob and today I want to talk about how to manage your money when you're in your 20s and then tomorrow the second part of this video will come out where we will talk about how to invest your money in your 20s. Now, why did I choose your 20s? Well, there's, there's two main reasons. First of all, I did some research and the net worth of an average person in their 20s is actually negative. And net worth is everything that you own, so all of your assets minus all the debt that you have, so minus all your liabilities. And when you are 21, on average, you actually have a net worth of minus 30,000. So you have 30,000 more in debt than everything that you own all you know, added up together. So I think really being conscious about how you spend your money, how you invest your money in your 20s is super important to set yourself up for long term and to start building something towards that retirement fund. The second thing is I went through the analytics of my videos and most of you are in your late teens or early 20s. So it only makes sense for me to talk about how to actually spend your money and invest when you're in your 20s. So how to actually spend your money? Well, what always blows my mind, and this doesn't just go for people in their 20s, is that so little people actually know how much money is coming in and going out every single month. You might know, you know how much is coming in, but what are you spending that money on? And before you can make any financial decision in any point in your life, you really need to know these numbers. The first thing that I would really suggest you to do, and this is super important, is to start with sit down and actually make a list of everything that you're spending every single month. And I would do this in two groups. So the group number one would be all of the fixed costs which are coming back. So maybe your rent, car insurance, you know, anything that just, you know, is fixed and comes back every single month. And then also make a list of how much you're spending on other things, maybe going out for dinner or coffee or partying or whatever. And the important thing at this stage is not to judge. Just like with meditation, we just want to note. We just want to know where we are at right now. And we're not judging as we're going through that list. I'll actually link in the description below, I'll link an example of a sheet that you can be using for this to help you out, but you can also just use Excel or anything to, to write this. So once we have that list, it is time to go through it and sort of put everything in, in let's call it buckets. So how much are you spending on you know, groceries? We don't need to be in, in detail about how much you spend on, on meat and on eggs and whatever, right? Just in groceries, how much you're spending on maybe subscriptions. So in terms of Spotify, Netflix, and those things. So put it in two buckets, and then it is really time to start looking, Is does this make sense? Where am I spending a lot of money? And you might wanna change a few things. So for example, you might be spending $30 a week on, on buying coffee at Starbucks or some, somewhere else. Maybe it's smart to actually invest $100 in buying a good coffee machine, and after that, you might only spend like five bucks a week buying some proper coffee for your coffee machine, and that way, the coffee machine will pay for itself in about a month. That would be a, a decision and an investment that would make a lot of sense. Maybe you're going out for dinner twice a month, but there I would say, hey, you know, you are in your 20s. It is an awesome time. It is a time you should really be enjoying. So if you really enjoy taking, you know, maybe your, your girlfriend or your, your parents or friends out for dinner every once in a while, by all means, keep doing it. It's not about, I know there's a lot of videos that tell you, you know, cut out all the expenses that you can. And I, I get where they're coming from, but at the same time, again, the only reason why we want to make more money, why we want to invest, why we want to be free is so that we can do the things that we enjoy doing. And if going out for dinner, this is just an example, is one of them, then keep doing it. The only thing is we have to be conscious of the fact how much you're spending on this and really ask yourself, hey, maybe rather than going you know, to the most expensive restaurants or going five times a month, you know, I just wanna take two or three people every month, so I'll go two or three times. So it's all about knowing how much you're spending and then just asking yourself the question, does it make sense to spend this much money also compared to how much money is coming in? What we need to do is we need to know this, we need to make those lists and then we can start making other decisions. Now, one of the other things that you really have to look into is why do people in their 20s have a lot of debt? Well, a lot will be student loans, but also there's a lot of credit card debt. And since we will be speaking about investing tomorrow and you know maybe at some point you want to be buying real estate, it is very important to start, first of all, building out a credit score. But another thing is on credit cards, you will pay a lot, a lot of interest. So every time, you know, every month you're just throwing away money to repaying or even just to pay the interest of the credit card. One of the first things that you need to do with the money you might be saving now, now you made that list and you cut out a few things, is repay the debt that you have. Because as soon as you repay debt, 
it means that you will have more money next month to spend. And if you use that, that money again to repay part of the debt, then every single month you will see you will have more and more money at the end of the month, which you can first use to, you know, to, to repay debt, still have the amazing life and do the cool things that you should be doing in your 20s. And then, you know, after that, we can really look into how can you invest. So here's a little final thought for this first video on, you know, how to spend your money and how to track it. Again, it is very easy to judge, right? So really make sure that if you go through your list, don't be judging. Just accept the fact that that's where you are right now. Maybe it's, maybe it's awesome. Maybe it's really, you know, you're spending a lot of things on things you shouldn't. Okay, so at least you know now, right? And once we know, we can fix things. So that's the first thing. The second thing is, another reason why I wanted to really go to an age group for this is because I believe that the way you should be spending your money changes the way that, you know, you get older. Well, obviously you will probably have more, more assets as you get older. So maybe you have a mortgage payment, maybe you have kids as well, right? Which costs a lot of money. And also the risk that you can be taking will change as you get older. So that's why this was really focused on your 20s. I think 20s are, you know, it's an amazing time. You should be having a lot of fun and, you know, don't go micromanage. So don't think, oh, I shouldn't be spending this $1. It's just about knowing the big picture, being always conscious of what you're spending your money on, why you're spending it, and what that will mean in terms of your budget for the entire month. And as long as you are always conscious of this, do whatever you feel like. And that is the most important thing I would say when you're in your 20s. So that was the first little video on, you know, setting the ba basics. So now tomorrow we can actually look into how to invest our money. So if this was of value, as always, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all of those things. And I hope to see you back tomorrow for the second video in this series.